Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn about copying your assembly. Specifically, I'll be taking a look at external references, what happens to them when we copy an assembly. Let's begin by opening an assembly. I'm going to use the assembly that we worked with in my previous video, so let's select it, Assembly 1, and click Open. Notice Parts 2 and 3 have in-context references. Let's right-click on Part 2, scroll down to List External References. In the Status column, we see the in-context message. Let's cancel out of the External References window. Now let's right-click on Part 2, select Edit Part. Notice I've got no warning messages. Let's exit the part and close the assembly. We don't need to save since we didn't make any changes. Here's the folder where I store my assembly. I'm going to make a copy of it. With a slow double click, I can enable this field for renaming. I'll call it Assembly 2 and drag it in to open. As you see, now we've got a problem with the external references. Let's right click on the part, select List External References, and here we see in the status column Out of Context. Let's edit the part. SolidWorks gives us a warning. This part has features defined in the context of another assembly. So we can edit this part, but we can't create any external references to the components of the current assembly. One way to solve this problem is to break all the external references. Let's figure out how we can do that. Right click on the part, list external references, and click the Break All button. We get a warning from SolidWorks. If we break these references, we are not able to activate them again. Let's cancel out of the warning window and cancel out of the external references window. Let's close the assembly. Let's open up assembly one now. I'll use the Save As command this time. And I'll give it a new name. I'll call it assembly three. Let's click on the References button. I'm going to check Save All as Copy. We've got some more options here. We can add a prefix or a suffix. Let's click Save All. Now let's close the assembly and open up Assembly 3. Open. As you see, all of our references are intact here. Let's list external references. In the status column, all display as in context. Cancel out. We can also go to File on the main menu strip, scroll down to Find References. Here we see parts 2 and 3 saved internal to the assembly. Also under Parts 2 and 3, we see the assembly name and its location. Let's close this window. And this concludes our lesson about copying an assembly. We'll see you back in our next lesson.